So we're counting down to the first polls closing in New Hampshire tonight. We'll find out the results of the nation's first state primary election. We've all been putting in a ton of work preparing for the big event. And after Harold so generously helped me back at the debate back in September, if you remember that, I thought I could return the favor for Jesse. And obviously, with so much to do, our day together started at 5 a.m. Hi everyone, I'm so excited. We're in New Hampshire, it's the day of the primary, and Jesse Waters came, and so I can help him get ready. Jesse, good morning! Hello! New Hampshire primary day! What do you oh, want, hi, Dana? Jesse! Oh. <laughs> I've read these papers, and I, I marked some of the places for you. No, I was Somewhere. out late with Hemmer last night. I gotta get some more sleep. Hey, why don't you take a look at these? I got, maybe take two more of these cards just to look at. And then we'll be right outside, and I'll meet you there. So a couple of books, I'll just help you prepare. Goodbye. Okay. Okay. See you soon. Don't go back to sleep. Okay? Can't wait. Want well, me to get you a coffee? I can get you some coffee. <laughs> oh, great. You're ready. Okay. Excellent. We just have a few things that Dana, we're trying to get in. It's been 15 minutes. How many books have you read? Just, a few, just, just like five. But I mean, there's, it's just, it's not a lot. Are you always this chipper in the morning? Yes, but I'm working on it. Okay. Does this place have a gym? I gotta go do some cardio. It does. It does. You wanna go together and we can study while we work out? Uh. Yeah, sure. Come on. Let's do that. Fine. Okay, great. Let's go. Okay. Got it. All right. We have a lot of material to study. I made it easier for you with some note cards. Dana, you really expect me to memorize all these notes? Not really. I mean, it's really not that many. And I just have a few more here. Uh, so I alphabetized all of the counties in New Hampshire by population, so you could get started on memorizing that. I had just took the opportunity to write down the breakdown of New Hampshire primary results since 1920. Read those, memorize them. Carl Rove's not always going to be there for you. And also, I surveyed 500 New Hampshire residents, and I have notes on what they think uh, here. Dana, Dana, I, I don't want to know too much. I want to feel. I hear you. I hear you. But I just just take these, just a few more, just to get your make sure you're all set before prime time. We got to go over the rundown for prime time, by the way. I'm so glad you said that. I have a hundred ideas. <laughs> prime time, New Hampshire. So exciting. Okay. La, 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 da, 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 da. Okay. This is interesting. You'd make changes to the rundown. I don't think that you can say that Michelle Obama is going to replace Joe Biden on the ticket. Dana, it's an option. I don't really think it's real, though. I think it's a fantasy. Did you see the Cindy Adams op-ed? I did see this, but I think we should get another opinion. I'm just looking out for you. Tell you what, why don't we call your mom and see what she thinks? Do we have to? Yeah, let's call her. I, I love mom. Hey, mom. Yeah. Yeah, it's Dana. She Hi, wants Mrs. Waters. To talk to you. Hi. So I'm just going through Jesse's rundown here in New Hampshire. Jesse wants to say that Michelle Obama's running for president. Obviously, that's not happening. So I just want to protect him. What do you think? I'd listen to Dana, honey bun. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right. Bye, mom. Bye. I have a better idea. Okay. Follow me. Where are we going? <laughs> Now this is what I'm talking about. I don't know. Do you think we really have time for this? Dana, the key to preparation is relaxation. I don't know. If I had this folder, I could just, you know, maybe by osmosis get some more preparation in before tonight. Dana, just hold my hand and breathe. Wait. Maybe you're right. Maybe we do need to relax. Dana, I'm always right. And there you have it. Jesse's mm. always right, Judge. We ended at the spa. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, it looks like you had a very busy day preparing. <laughs> How much work did you do today? <laughs> we got a lot done. Yeah. I got a lot done. Y you always I do. But I got a lot done. Jesse, have you learned that you have to listen to Dana? <laughs> Not really. Uh, I think preparation's different depending on who you are. For instance, I took an Uber back from a walk and the guy was a fan and told me about stoicism. And I learned more in that Uber ride back from my walk than I probably would reading the Wall Street Journal cover to cover. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you could do that anywhere, Jesse. <laughs> Greg, I wish you'd been here because I would have woken you up and we would have had yeah. you with us right there on the elliptical. Yep, in a minute. <laughs> Greg. Yes. Do you like our acting? I thought it was fantastic. Anything? I made a couple of points, and then I want to <laughs> okay. address a bigger story. 
Uh, Dana, on the elliptical, you look like a toddler trying to cross-country <laughs> ski. <laughs> um, I didn't realize how short I would look. The, the best line of the whole thing was Jesse citing the Cindy Adams op-ed. <laughs> it's kind of like a lot of people missed. But that just was, that might be one of the all time great lines. Did you read the Cindy Adams op ed? It's amazing. But while you're doing this cute segment, you're missing out on the real story. If you notice that Dean Phillips is putting all of his money into New Hampshire, just as Ron DeSantis is pulling out of New Hampshire, is this a coincidence? Wow. Have you ever seen them together? Look at them. <laughs> Doppelganger. Watch your mouth, Dana. Yeah, it's a family sorry, show. A <laughs> uh, Harold, how do you think we did? I thought you guys were frankly outstanding. I was just glad you did not trip like I tripped when I was trying to take your bag into the, uh, in, in, into the, uh, the, the bait hall there at the Reagan Center. And I was surprised. I thought Jesse was a 4 a.m. riser, so 5 a.m. You looked like you were just awakened, brother. What was going on? Well, it's called acting, Harold, something you know nothing about. <laughs> Thank you. I'll write that down, too. Two days in a row now. You're, you're on a roll. That's all and, right. And, of course, we appreciate the participation of Jesse's mom, as always. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.